Hello there guys, welcome back to the Chelsea Man Football, I hope you are doing alright around the world. If you are new, subscribe to the Chelsea Man Football, hit notification bell, so we can try win a game. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what I'm saying. We can try to win a game? Are we actually gonna win a game? Guys, let me know in the comment. <laughs> I will start with that. Are we actually gonna win a game to win in 14 matches to win in 14 matches <laughs> i don't know what to say man i i'm like lost in words i'm like i feel like i'm in another universe right where there's no people there's just quiet you can just hear winds and sounds and the sun burning that's what i feel right now two wins in 14 matches oh my god i didn't realize that and a lot of chelsea fans some of them they're supporting porter and some they are not supporting porter but those people who are supporting the process they forgot this is Chelsea Football Club. Two wins in 14 matches under Grand Porter. All the managers in the Premier League. Now nobody has done that. Is the first Chelsea manager in the Premier League to be like that. That's the lowest number. Lowest number. Two wins in 14 matches. And he's still a Chelsea manager. <laughs> At this point, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna laugh. And I see a lot of people that are like, oh my God, we have sold the club to people who doesn't run it properly. <laughs> I get it, I get it. This top body group, they run things different. And they, tr they are trying to cut the player power. They are trying to give the manager time. They said that. So don't expect Grand Porter to be sacked this season. We are not expecting that. You have all the right to say whatever you want to say, to feel whatever you want to feel. It's yours. It's yours, mate. Nobody's going to take that from you. You have all the right to say anything. And you are right to be upset. You are right to say all this stuff. <laughs> you are right. At this point, I'm just going to just watch the game, not expecting anything to happen. It comes to this, it comes to this, and it's sad. Yesterday, we lost a game against Bruce Dortmund. Bad result, we play very good game. We play very good, and we just not a lucky team. Not a lucky team, it feels like a curse. You play well like that, very beautiful game, and then you lost at the end. It feels like a curse. Tactically, we got it long, tactically, long. They launched counter-attack on us and then we just lost it. From that goal when Bruce Dortmund scored, Chelsea just went sleep, sleep and we didn't even try to attack. Only Felix was doing everything very sad. But I want to show you a picture yesterday. One of the Bruce Dortmund fouled, uh, who is this guy? Uh, ben Chelsea was so bad. I know the Chelsea player, they react to that because that's what Chelsea players are. React to it and decided a fight. It was a huge fight on the touchline where Porter was. If you look at the picture, all the Chelsea players are fighting there, right? Trying to solve the situation. And one man, including the Bruce Dortmund manager, was involved in that. <laughs> he went there to solve, to say, what are you doing? Calm down, you know? Push all the players, the Chelsea players and the Bruce Dortmund players to push them so that they can continue the game. One man is not involved. <laughs> you can laugh. You can laugh on this, baby. You can laugh. <laughs> One man is putting his hands on the back. He's scared of a situation. <laughs> Who is that? He's our manager. He's our uh, trust in the process manager. He doesn't want to get involved in it. He's scared to get a lead cut. You know, <laughs> he's scared. He's scared to have a sniff, I will say. <laughs> Look at Porter, he's just standing over there, touching, putting his hands on the back, nothing to do, he just doesn't want to get involved in it. Oh man, I felt so sad yesterday, I'm like, look at our manager. And then I'm just thinking, 
It made me to start thinking I missed Thomas Tuchel. It made me start thinking that. <laughs> I was one of the people who wanted Thomas Tuchel to go. I, I did my video, I think you watched it a long time ago. I was happy because of the result, blah, blah. So I thought we're gonna get a brilliant manager, we're gonna get somebody who knows how to take this team up. Remember, signing players is not the solution. Yes, it's good to get new players. Very good, I'm not against that. Good. But with a bad manager, no. You're gonna be the same. Remember, Thomas took when he came at Chelsea. The players, Frank Lampard, he has, there was no transfer business back then. So Frank Lampard used the young players to help the team to finish in top four. Even Frank was not the, that bad, like, uh, uh, who's this guy? Mr. Porter. Frank was not that bad. <laughs> it's so shocking, so shocking. 14 games, 14 guys, two wins. <laughs> I cannot believe, I cannot believe, I saw that in the morning, I'm like, wow, I have lost all the words, maybe I'm gonna go get them in a, another universe, yeah, I will, <laughs> 14, 14 games, two wins, <laughs> no, uh, I, I gotta come down, <laughs> I gotta come down, I gotta come down, so, the photo guys, it's so so shocking let me know in the comment what do you think about this photo the bruce todmond manager got involved in that if it was Mourinho, Mourinho will get involved in that up you see Mourinho is shouting and Mourinho will get yellow card and get a ban next champions league game we won't be on the touchline <laughs> he'll be on the newspaper <laughs> not our new manager when you trust the process manager nope he doesn't do that he doesn't the players, they would need support. They need to see a manager standing up for them. That's what the players need. If you don't do that, you lose all the respect from the players, from the fans, even from the board. You lose respect. But it looks like Chelsea board, they are trusting Mr. Porter and they are saying, I think they have the best manager in the world. That's what the Chelsea board is saying. And they're saying he came at the wrong place where everything was bad, right? Everything was not right. I fully support that. But at the same time, that's not an excuse. <laughs> that is not an excuse. Look at what Tuku did. He came where Chelsea was bad. Everything was miserable, right? Everything was just, we didn't even see where we are going under Frank Lampard. Po uh, Tuku came in, he thrived right away. He win the Champions League, he win the Club World Cup, and that's, uh, and the Chelsea owner, they're saying, now Grand Porter needs time. How many times in it? 14 games, two wins? No, no. A good manager, a good manager, when they come at the club, you feel, you f even if you are so far away, you feel that, like, okay, we have something, we have something. I remember when Encelot came to Chelsea in 2009, 20, somewhere there, I forgot the, uh, the time he came in. You, we felt something like there's a manager here, we're going to win something. And then we went and win the Premier League title, I remember that year. But under Porter, we don't feel that. I don't feel that. Maybe you do. Let me know in the comment if you do, if you support Porter and you support the process. I don't. <laughs> I don't trust it at all. The photo just showed you everything. Everything you need to know. <laughs> there is no support there. There is no aggression. Quiet. That's it. It's quiet. <laughs> so, let's move on to another news. Check this out. In Tenary, there was a feeling at Chelsea heading into Dortmund from ownership down that winning the UEFA Champions League again this season is well within their grip. They feel with the addition of Enzo, Ferrix and Modric, they have more talent than when they won it in Porto. Any, anyone who hear that, they will get upset. <laughs> you think we're going to win the Champions League this season? 
when I when I saw that, I was laughing. I was just laughing. I'm like, oh dear God, <laughs> miracles doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't happen all the time yes we have quality Felix Inzo Modric than when we won last year in Porto remember yes we have all that but the key there is the tactic the manager tactically he doesn't know what he's doing so this Chelsea owner they think dreams come true yes the dreams come true but not to everyone not to everyone some yes we won it twice, the Champions League. But if we are expecting win the Champions League this season, I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe you are, you have that confidence of winning it. Uh, me, I don't. If we do, if we win, then I will come here to say sorry, I was wrong. If we win it. But the performances... And this Chelsea one, they're saying they feel like Inzo, Ferrix and Modric, they have more talent than when they won it in Porto. As I said, we have talent, but the manager doesn't know how to use the talent. So that will get some Chelsea fans upset, very upset. Guys, guys, you gotta laugh, you gotta laugh. You don't have to get upset too much. Don't get your uh, your health in, in a danger zone. Don't do it. <laughs> Just, it's not worth it. Don't do it. Until Chelsea, they suck Porto. Now, there's another update came on. Check this out. Chelsea have opened talks to sign Neymar from Paris Saint-Germain. Negotiations are advanced with official bid lady for permanent move. No problem in personal teams. Talks will continue to get deal done. PSG expected 60 million from Chelsea. This will be next January transfer window. If this is true. If this is true, and I think it can be true. At the end of the transfer window, the Chelsea owner, they say they are not done yet. They are going back to the transfer market. There's some big names, big names, they said they have to get it done. So if I see this news, I'm like, oh, okay, it's possible. They can do it. I'm not worried for them to get the transfer business done. They are very good on that. Very good. And I think we are lucky in that way. We are blessed to have the owner who are very good on the transfer. That, I will give them the thumbs up, like Rukako did, right? Remember Rukako thumbs up? That, I will give them. But if we have a good manager and they are doing this business, oh my God, <laughs> we'll be on top of the world. We'll be on top of the world. And we have everything. We have all the gears. We have all the machines. We have all the bullets we need. It's just the manager. Just the manager to use these players. And Jose Mourinho, this is what he was dreaming for. He was dreaming for this. You know, he did not have all this support to get all the players when Roman was in charge. He was dreaming this exactly. That's why is pushing a move back to Chelsea because he knows there's a lot of money there. There's support of the manager. As long as you say yes, sir, they will support you. <laughs> That's why they hire Porter. It's yes, sir. It's yes, sir. That's why, guys. You you think, oh, man, uh, why they're not sucking Porter? No, because he's saying yes to everything they said. Yes, sir. Oh, well, we're going to sign this player. Yes, sir. Oh, this one, you like it? Yes, sir. Oh, what about that guy? Yes, sir. What about Marco Correra? Yes, sir. That's what he's doing. I'll see you soon, guys. Subscribe to the Chelsea Man Football. Hit notification bell so we can go and try to win again. That's all I will say. God bless.